Hey guys, welcome back to Enjoying School at Home. My name is Robin and I have five kids ages seven, five, three and a half, two, and five months. Today I'd love to share with you my idea and brainstorming around a learning launch party or a first day of school celebration. What is a learning launch party? Well, I'm sort of making it up as I go, but in my head it's gonna be a first day of school celebration. We have end of year celebrations and end of year parties, and if I'm really trying to create excitement for learning and encourage lifelong learners, I want us to be excited to start our new learning for the year. My thoughts are that it's gonna be a time for us to explore all of their new books, their new curriculum, and get excited and curious about the topics they're gonna be studying this year as well as getting their hands on all the pretty new school supplies. My brainstorming includes decorations, food, games, encouragement, or letter of some sorts, and I'll go into that. And then lastly, goal setting. Let's talk about decorations. I'm probably going to have our learning launch party at breakfast. Um, and that's because usually with five kids, after they eat breakfast, they all sort of scatter into a million different directions. So if I can keep them together um, and get it started at breakfast, I am gonna have a lot more success with holding their attention. I also want to surprise them with maybe some streamers, maybe a few balloons, a fun tablecloth on the breakfast table, and then we have windows near our breakfast table area, and so if I can print off some pictures and kind of take them up like posters for our topics. For example, my second grader is gonna be studying Greece and Rome, my first grader will be studying Egypt, and then my pre-K three student will do some fun numbers and letters and just kind of make them look like posters to decorate around the areas where they sit at the table. By having my learning launch party at breakfast, that means I can set up my decorations the night before and it, they wake up and it's more like a little surprise. For our party food, we're gonna have donuts because that is the winner in our home for our breakfast treat. So I'm hoping dad will be around and he can go and sneak out and get donuts early in the morning and we can wake them up with a donut surprise. After donuts and we've cleaned up all those little sticky fingers, my plan is to put all of the, have all of your stuff in a large gift bag and I'll probably reuse whatever gift bags I have. I'm not willing to go out to the store and spend a lot of money on gift bags for this. I'm sure that my kids will not mind if their stuff is in a Christmas bag or um, a baby shower bag or something silly like that. The fun will be in pulling out all that tissue paper and finding their new school books, their manipulatives, their any new pencil bags that we have, pencil boxes, and all the fresh new crayons and markers and pencil sharpeners and all the things that those little hands like to get into. The point of my learning launch party is to get them excited for school. So I want them to explore their curriculum, to have their hands on their new books, to be flipping through the readers, looking at their, their history cards or their sight words cards, um, math facts, whatever I may have for them that we are gonna use throughout the year. I don't want the first day that we sit down to actually work at the table to be the first time they're getting to see this. It's their material that they're gonna be learning from. I want them to really be hands-on and be familiar with it before the first day. Once we've spent a few minutes going through our curriculum, now I wanna have a game. My kids love silly little games, so some game ideas I was thinking of are uh, would you rather, I can make some would you rather cards and they have a lot of fun with those, or hangman. And then the other game is I was thinking, because donuts are not treat enough, right? If we'll have some, we'll grab a handful of M&Ms and we'll answer questions based off of the M&M color coding. If you haven't seen those, you can check that out on Pinterest. Just type in M&M, icebreaker, first day of school, and some of those color coded questions will come up. To personalize this beginning of the school year celebration for each of my students, I would like to write each of my kids a letter. Nothing extensive, nothing long, just something telling them I am proud of them. I love um, how much to see what they've, how they've already grown, and I'll throw in some specifics in there, but also that I am looking forward to seeing how they will grow, and I know that they're gonna have a great year. Something simple, straightforward, with a few specifics in it to let them know, just once again, how much I care about them and really care about their learning as well. 
in that letter, in addition to the letter of encouragement, I'm gonna include an index card. And so I have one here, I've actually already made them for my older two students, not for my last one yet. But um, on that index card, I'm gonna include a Bible verse, um, their own character, growth areas that I would like us to revisit and come back to throughout the year. Um, this one is Colossians 3.23. And I know I have one of my children, this will be very helpful for to keep this at the front, forefront of our minds. On the back, I have included uh, one, two, three, and I've just numbered it out because this is where we're gonna do some goal setting. I am not planning to take the goal setting um, super seriously for me. This is for my kids. I just want them to go through the practice of thinking about something they want to do or achieve or learn or even improve upon and then we'll write it down we'll have it right here on our Bible verse card for the year specific to each kid so you can see I've got second grader first grader ready to go and I am NOT gonna fill these out for them this is just I'll sit with them they can brainstorm it and I am prepared to have anything from um, catch a fairy to learn to do a cartwheel. There could be anything on this. Now, if it does end up being academic, like better cursive writing, that's excellent. <laughs> if not, that's okay too. Um, it's just something I want to help them move towards in their own personal reflection. So just to recap, I'm gonna do my encouragement, my letter of encouragement for each student, put it in an envelope and include their index card. So we will read their Bible verse together and then we'll go over and I'll let them pick out some, some goal settings for three different goals. Now, these aren't gonna just fall off to the wayside. We will keep these in our table time basket when we get out all of our supplies and manipulatives for our morning meeting. We do our morning meeting with math. It's something we do every time we sit down to do school at home and we will have this. We will revisit it. I may not pull it out every time or even every week, but when I know that we need to um, touch base and, and take, a, take a look again at either our Bible verse for the year or the goals that we set to help refocus our attention, then, then I do have it and it is readily available. I do not expect all my kids to stay at the learning and launch party for the whole time. I, I'm thinking my three-year-old will probably wander off sometime around the games and that's absolutely okay. I am thinking my learning launch party is gonna last about 40-ish minutes. So the full agenda would be breakfast and we'll have decorations up to surprise them. We'll do breakfast, donuts, we'll review all of our curriculum and they'll get to unveil them out of whatever gift bags I have on hand, their books, their manipulatives. They'll get to go through them and get hands-on to get curious and excited about the subjects they're gonna be learning. We'll play a couple games as long as they're having fun and enjoying it. Then we'll switch over. I will give them their envelopes for their letters of encouragement. We'll read those. We'll talk about their Bible verse. And then I will let them pick some goals to set. After that, they'll probably head outside for some play. We're gonna have our learning launch party the week before we actually sit down to do real school time at the table. Remember to take it, try it, toss it. If you found something you like, please take it and try it. If not, toss it, don't worry about it. We'll try again next time. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe for more Enjoying School at Home.